Good morning. It is 2.45 a.m. and I am at the Stewart and Kolchak Lakes Trailhead. It is October 12th and today I am going to be doing a through hike of the enchantments. I backpacked here back at the end of July but I did not do the full through hike and now the larches are golden. They're a peak color in the core so I am going to be doing the through hike today. This is intense. It is 5,000 feet of gain and 20 miles. I am hoping to be at the top of Asgard Pass for sunrise which gives me roughly four hours to get there. I think I can do it with a day pack. This is going to be a really intense day. This is a challenging day hike to say the least but it is also going to be spectacular. So the next time you see me I will hopefully be in a beautiful alpine sunrise. Let's get going. No, I definitely look like a mess, but I am getting up Asgard Pass. It is about 20, 25 minutes before sunrise, and I mean, gorgeous, absolutely gorgeous. Um, making pretty good progress. I'm not sure if I'm gonna be at the absolute top by sunrise, but I'm gonna be darn close. And I mean, the view is already amazing. There are already golden larch trees, so I am happy. Honestly, I'm just happy because I have spent the last um, three and a half hours hiking in the dark, so the sun is or this light is already giving me that boost. <sighs> but I'm gonna definitely be celebrating when I get to the top. Well, it is sunrise and it's beautiful. Uh, still, still climbing, still climbing. It just means I'll have to make up on time on the way down, but oh, I'm glad I'm high enough for a gorgeous vantage point. And soon, that means the light is gonna start hitting these large trees, which is just gonna make them glow. I'm so excited. Ah, so close. top of Asgard Pass and as you can see I am in the sun oh my gosh it's gonna be warm today again um, but now I get to stop have a break have a snack and then gonna spend the next few hours going through the core and I'm very excited um, because Last time I was here um, backpacking, I only saw I only saw half of the core, and I'm really excited to see the lower core. So, um, I 
want to get to see that, but first I need to eat my Pop-Tart. Right there is where I where I camped when I uh, backpacked here back in July. It's so interesting to see it now in autumn, all melted out and stuff. This was there was still a lot of snow here not too long ago. Well, I am here on the strip between Isolation Lake and one of the other lakes. I will figure out the name. It's Isolation Lakes. Um, got this beautiful large tree, and this is Isolation Lake, which is stunning. Oh my goodness! Up there's Asgard Pass, but yeah, I got a little distracted. So this is my snack spot. So I'm gonna fuel up for the climb down through the core and then uh, the very long hike out. Um, I, I, I know I talk a lot about timing, but that has all been training for this particular trail because I am on a very strict time budget. I have a shuttle picking me up at the Snow Lakes Trailhead at 3.30 because this is not a loop hike. This is a through hike. It's point to point. So if you're by yourself and you don't have two cars and stuff it can be logistically tricky but there are shuttles and taxis you can take um and you book them in advance and i have to be there now they will abandon me if i'm not there on the dot but i got to be kind of close so <laughs> uh, this is going to be interesting Alright, back on trail, finishing passing between Isolation Lake, which is beautiful. And now I'm um, going to descend from the upper core into the, I don't know what you want to call it, middle upper core. And the lower core is where the most large trees are, where they're most densely packed. So. I, I love this place so much. It's so beautiful. <sighs> but I definitely, um, that was probably the longest break I can take um, for the remainder of this trail. So, got to get moving.
Man, I timed this perfectly. The larch trees are at peak color. Um, and I also uh, spent the last week calculating the window for no smoke in the enchantments because this has been smoked out, but it blew away for today. It's coming back tomorrow, so in a very narrow window to work with, but it has paid off. Also, um, starting early has also paid off because a lot of the shuttles, a lot of people opt to shuttle to the trailhead and those only start at 515. So if you start earlier, you're ahead of most of the other hikers and the only people are backpackers and they're just chilling. So I've got, I've been alone this whole time. Well, I mean, there are some other through hikers, but uh, I've had this on myself. <laughs> Always pays to wake up early. All right, well, I have reached a very special part in the trail for me. Um, I'm about to descend into the lower core, and this is special for me because, uh, because this is where I had to turn around last time. Um, when I backpacked this, the mosquitoes got so bad as I descended. There was like a black cloud around me, and I, it was not worth it. Um, but I was very bummed that I did not get to see this portion of the trail and coming up on Perfection Lake and I gotta say, it looks like it's got a good name, but I am excited. So this is going to be all new for me from here on out. <laughs> just walking along Perfection Lake and I am fully now in the land of the larch and this is spectacular. Um, definitely need to start hustling a little bit more but this is absolutely worth it. This is gorgeous and now I'm in the sun and it's nice and warm shouldn't be this warm. It's October 12th, but ah, 
This is one of the reasons it's called the enchantments because it just really looks like, you know, it's been enchanted when you have these beautiful blue alpine lakes and these yellow trees. It doesn't look real. Man, this really is the uh, perfect lake. Gorgeous reflections. A little island with golden larch trees on it. I mean, I don't think it gets better than that. <sighs> I'm still going way too slow for this. <laughs> but, I mean, come on. That up there is Prussic Peak. This is one of the uh, famous peaks up here in the Enchantments. Very pyramid shaped, really, really neat looking mountain. And then I can see the rest of the route, so the trail goes down here and then dips down below that lip. That's the end of the core and the beginning of the Snow Lakes Valley. <sighs> this is stunning. Um, and I am having so much fun. I'm just so distracted, um, taking pictures, just trying to take my time, but I have the voice in the back of my head telling me that, yeah, you can't really take your time a ton. Um, and that's one of the reasons a lot of people want to backpack here, because you want to be able to take your time in a place like this, but I already backpacked here, and I like a challenge, so. <laughs> I don't know. I like being rushed. Sue me. This lake here is Leprechaun Lake, and the peak behind it is McClellan Peak. That's supposed to be a pretty crazy scramble, but huh, it's beautiful. One more big milestone in the core, and then I have to start the descent down to snow. And I take my break. I'm going to take my break at the last lake. Um, and then the grind begins. <laughs> Oh boy, so I've got to look at my future. Um, that is my last lake here in the core, and then that is Snow Lake. My goal is to get to Snow Lake within 45 minutes. Um, you can see the haze definitely has filled this valley. Um, but I'm going to take the break that I absolutely, the mandatory break um, that I need to take um, down at Lake Vivian, and then start the descent to snow lakes. I am probably not going to film that. It is notoriously a pain in the butt and is not terribly scenic. So you're just watching me scramble down some rocks right now. Um, but 
yeah, that's a, that's my future. And my goal is to be down to Snow Lakes by noon, because if that is the case, then I can definitely make my shuttle time. I made it down to Snow Lake. This is Upper Snow Lake, the larger of the two lakes. This is one of the lower enchantments and I made it down here by noon. This means I am theoretically on track to not miss my shuttle, but this means I have like eight, eight and a half miles back to um, the end of the trail parking lot, the Snow Lakes parking lot. So this is, feeling very doable because after this, the trail gets significantly easier. The descent down from Lake Vivian was not as bad as I had heard, but it definitely, you know, took a little bit of time, but I did make my time. So I am happy and this is beautiful. Um, although I'm sure you can see this lake does not usually look like this. It usually is down a little bit, but you can see the kind of drought we're having with the fact that it is mid-October and we haven't had any rain. So it's it's in a bit of a state right now, but it is still beautiful. And I am going to be running these last eight miles. Any, I made the deal with myself, any runnable portion of trail, I have to run. So but I do have some beautiful things to show you. This valley is gorgeous, a few angles of Snow Lake, and there is a final enchantment lake on the way back down. And stay tuned to see if I actually make my shuttle. <laughs> That's where you come down from. You kind of come down from the pass there and then you work your way down around a snow lake. And that is it. I am past snow lakes. One more lake to go and then grinding out miles to the parking lot. Snow lake is very pretty. I think um, uh, the fact that it's water level is quite low is not doing it justice. So perhaps I should return in the earlier summer when it is overflowing. Not a lake and now I have to bang out the last four and a half five miles um, back down this very long valley to Snow Lakes parking lot where my ride awaits. It is supposed to be a beautiful valley so I am looking forward to it but oh boy yeah this is definitely uh, not for the faint of heart. <laughs> it's fun though. Like this is the part of stuff I really like is when you are really done with something and then uh, you keep going because you have to. I don't know. I, I think that's fun. <laughs>
I'm on the final leg of this thing. And oh boy, uh, this is the section that people call the death march, or they call just doing the enchantments through hike in a day the death march, because by the end you are a zombie making your way down to that parking lot. And you know, I'm feeling pretty good. Uh, I, I did scuff myself up a little bit there. I, I tripped and uh, banged my knee, but it's pretty good, it's fine. Um, but yeah, I, I definitely get why people say this, because yeah, this uh, portion of the trail is very long, but um, I should be within sight of that parking lot within the hour, and I am still on pace, still on pace to get there by 3.30. I have one more hour left to go. See if I can do it. Oh my god. I can see the road down there. The parking lot is right there. I just have to go down the switchbacks and then I'm done. So close. Oh my god. Oh, that is a welcome sight. Uh, as I'm sure you can see, the uh, smoke has started to roll back in, which is one of the reasons I also wanted to hurry. Like it was going to be, I knew it was going to be clear until sometime this afternoon and well, that prediction is proving to be accurate, so... Oh my gosh, I'm gonna make it. Oh, I'm actually gonna make it. Okay, well... Oh my gosh, I cannot tell you what a welcome sight that parking lot is. That feels good. That feels really good. Oh my gosh, it is right there. Um, and I, I think what I'm gonna do for this video is... I'll let everyone know if I made it. I mean... If, you see this means I made it um, but made it on time also and I will wrap up tomorrow because I am have a long drive ahead of me and I am in no state to compose complete thoughts <laughs> so I will yeah see like, like I said right there I'm so freaking done <laughs> a couple more switchbacks to go to the parking lot <sighs> All right, well, it is the next day. I got some sleep and I'm just gonna do a quick wrap up of today's hike. Um, through hiking the enchantments in a day has been on my bucket list for so long, as well as seeing the enchantments during the peak of larch season. I got really lucky with the weather and the smoke because we are still dealing with wildfire season here in Washington, even in October and I already got to backpack it this year but I had to go back and do the whole thing and wow it is an experience it is challenging this is something you want to train up for for sure and I think what I'm gonna do is put together a video like a quick guide to hiking the enchantments either day hiking it or backpacking it as well because there is a lot to know but it is definitely challenging but it is so so worth it if you are up to the challenge um, I think the beauty in the footage hopefully speaks for itself and just getting to see these gorgeous blue lakes with those yellow larches contrasted against them is just otherworldly it is surreal and I was just so excited that I finished it I finished it in exactly 12 and a half hours and that like really was the culmination of a lot of training this year to make sure that that all came together for me to be able to do this and I'm just really excited that you know I was able to get myself to a point where I could do something like this but the enchantments is a place that I highly recommend it is gorgeous there is a reason it is called the enchantments and yeah, I'm going to be making some more videos talking about this specific route and everything because there's a lot to say. A lot of people do go into this area unprepared and I want to talk about some of those things, but that is more for another video. But Enchantment Through Hike in the books and I could not be happier. 